Hey, it's just a reading here today is August 26, 2023. The time for me is 1.26 a.m. This is a brand new Capricorn reading. No projecting, a clear understanding, a truthful understanding now. The reading may resonate with you and it may not. So take what is and lead the rest. Only my angels and ancestors are allowed to this reading that I'm about to do for y'all. If you're coming back here, you're welcome. I am going to be taking personal readings. The um, email will be in the description below this video. And it will also be on the channel when you click. So. But yes. Let's go ahead and tap into the energy for Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with y'all. I see the Ace of Cups, love. First card. Here go your energy right here. The devil. First card. Your energy came right out. All right. Well, I'm not going to take all of these. Okay, so you got the four of wands here. Some type of marriage, happiness, celebration. Maybe with somebody. Maybe you're obsessing over this. Maybe tied in with somebody. Okay. The ten of wands. It could be somewhat of a burden a little bit. Maybe you got a lot going on um, with this marriage, celebration, whoever these friends, uh, husband, wife. Whoever you're dealing with, because, you know, the four of wands is marriage um, as well. So um, it may be a lot going on right now. Ten of wands may be a lot for you to carry. Seven of cups is at the bottom, too. Okay, so tell us more. All right. Right here with the moon. Yeah, I saw the moon, too, before I shuffled. So um, kind of emotional. Maybe got some... Um, justice we got moon energy here right underneath that devil some of y'all could be thinking about other things here are you thinking about walking away from something eight of cups Let's see. judgment is here so the angels are with you. You're probably getting protected by a, lo a love lost one. Um, something about judgment. Seven of swords. Something being unfair here. Something going on unfairly that you... Mm, I don't know. Maybe judgment here is going to tell you something. You got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody could be um, kind of cold with words, energy here, kind of cold. Queen of Swords in reverse is kind of like a cold energy. She's a little cold. Kind of also feel like the Queen of Swords needs to be left alone when she in reverse. You go to Queen of Pentacles. This is you, King of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting right here. Hmm. Well, this is a little different. All right, so you got the devil here. That's you in the tarot. You're in your first, uh, you're in your reading, the first card. You could be, um, um, you could be obsessing over this marriage, this this family. That could be it going on. Um, or you could have like temptations or 
may be tempted to do something right here. You got the ten of uh, wands here. So, like, you're trying to hold on to all these wands, but they finna drop out of your hand. So, maybe you got a lot going on. And they got the moon here. Maybe you need to, you know, figure out what you need to do because you got all these wands. Maybe you haven't been... Maybe there's something that you need to talk about. Eight of Cups. You're not talking about it, though. Rather just leave it alone. Maybe y'all walking away from it and just trying to leave it alone for right now. Don't want to come back to nothing right now. Because judgment is here. Queen of uh, Swords is in reverse. Words could be hard to explain right now. Tell me something more about the devil. Okay, somebody from your past. The Six of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody from your past. You could be thinking about past things too. Memories. Maybe that's what you're obsessing over. Maybe you're obsessing over this person from your past. Or somebody from your past. That you haven't met yet. You know, these are some people you ain't even met them yet. Met them in a past life. Something about the past here. Memories. You could be thinking about your childhood. Tell me something here. Tell me more about the Six of Cups for Capricorn. The Chariot. Could be dealing with a Cancer. It's a lot of a strong like um, water energy right here. Tell me about the... Um, yeah, y'all could be kind of emotional. Six of Swords. Maybe, you know, something about the past. I don't know. Maybe keep catching up or something. Some of y'all, maybe the past is catching up to y'all a little bit. Coming in fast, too, with that chariot. Hope some of y'all didn't get into no trouble. King of Cups. Yeah, you, a mother, you know, you may be very emotional. There's somebody that's emotional here. This water sign that you may be dealing with. Cancer. I'm getting Cancer Pisces energy. Somebody may be a little emotional over you too. Somebody that you can't. Okay, tell me more about this Four of Wands. This marriage celebration at home. Yeah, this Queen of Cups. Look, you got the King and the Queen. So this is both of y'all. Capricorn, you could have water in your chart. You could be a little emotional at times. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Who's this Queen of Cups? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. You got the Five of Pentacles in reverse, though. Maybe this came so. Hmm. Five of Pentacles is a loss when it's up, but maybe. I'm getting that maybe there may be something going on. Maybe a lot of. Okay, so this person you dealing with is your queen or your king. Y'all kind of got some um Y'all both come from a long journey or something here. The king, the, the Knight of Wands is somebody that's coming from a long journey of, of wherever they've been. But that horse is tired and he's tired too. So 
what's the problem? Okay, so tell us more about the ten, the ten of wands. I don't know. Sorry, I have to take a minute. Page it, cause there could be a baby involved or a child, like a like a a, a younger person. Could be a baby, toddler, or a young child. There's a page here, page of cups. They're emotional too. This could be a, a water sign too. Somebody's here with y'all. It's you, somebody else, and a child. Or a younger teenager. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Does somebody want to be with y'all? Okay, let me see something. Maybe there's somebody. Yeah, magician. Somebody trying to manifest something here. Maybe you're trying to manifest pregnancy, a child. Let me see. Tell me some more about the magician in this page. It's not for everybody. Eight of Wands. It's going to happen fast. Um. Something's going to happen fast. I don't know with the child or if you guys already have children, something's going to manifest between you and these children. This, I mean, this child that's in the middle of this. I don't know why. They're just sticking out to me. I mean, this King of Cups, this Queen of Cups, and this child here, they just, they look like they belong all in one. They all emotional. But see, this child is a little less emotional than you guys. Wow. This is um, it's a little different. This is a little... Hmm. This energy is a little... Um... This is why I don't like doing y'all readings, Capricorns, every night. I used to do y'all every single night. And y'all used to put me through it. I don't know why y'all do, but y'all readings are are something else. And then after, I get so damn tired. I get so tired after. All right. Tell me more about this moon. Who's uncertain about something? Who's sad and moon shadow energy here? Damn. Five of Cups. Somebody's regretting something here. The higher font in reverse. Not following their principles. Not following through on some. Somebody may have kept. May, I don't know if this is you or this person. Somebody, somebody may have not kept a promise here. Uh, the higher font. Taurus energy with these illusions at the Seven of Cups at the bottom. Tell me more. Okay, so somebody's regretting walking away. Six of Swords in reverse, selling away. Somebody kind of looking back. That boat is gone, but somebody looking back at you or you looking back at them. I don't know. Maybe this got something to do with a child. Okay, so what this is starting to look like to me is like maybe you got everything you got right here, but there's somebody else that you waiting for. I don't know why I feel like that, but maybe you waiting for somebody else here and you uncertain. Maybe you got to leave to go to something else real quick for a minute. The sun is here. Look at this. This is significant with these two kids. King of Swords. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. This is not for everybody. This is going to be like a, a specific reading for somebody that really needs it. Okay, yeah. For a source, you may need to get you some sleep, Capricorn. I don't think you really communicate in this with the person that you with, though. Then again, y'all could be separation with the person that you with. And there's a child involved. You trying to get back there, feeling bad, regretting. Maybe you left a situation with your child. You need to get some rest, though. It's three people here, though, for sure. Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Yeah, see the Ten of Pentacles. Financial stability, a home, a, a stable home. 
Yeah, you got a stable home here, uh, cat. Money is going to be flowing. Ten of Pentacles, tell me more. Okay, so the Ace of Wands came out. Yeah, there could be pregnancy about to get ready and happen and take place here. The Ace of Wands is um, it's also pregnancy. Somebody finna get pregnant or there, there's children definitely here. Um, or a child. Five of Wands, there's not going to be no more argument between you and this person. It's going to be new stuff coming in with judgment being here. Wow. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Two of Cups with the Emperor. Two of Cups is a relationship. This man and this woman looking at each other. They got their cups filled. So the angels want y'all together. It's something about you and this person. I know you guys go through a conflict differences with this five of wands. Y'all probably be bumping heads, but it's in reverse. So I feel like sometimes it could be on and off, but when it's good, it's good. The emperor, stability. You are the emperor. That's you right there. So you're stable. You could. This is given family. Like there's, uh, you're a father. Even if you're not actually, you got kids, but you are a father. You are the father for a lot of people. You have this stability. You have like this fatherly type of stability. Like this man, he's got this beard. He's very like strong. He He's straight to the point. You know, he, this person that you with, they see that in you too. They see that you have like this, I don't know, you're very stable. This is some real strong energy. It's kind of messing with me a little bit. Um, just, just give me, just give me a, um, a minute. This person like you a lot. This person really like they, they, they. When you give your cup, they might give you a little bit more <laughs> in theirs. This person appreciates you. Even if you guys are not together right now, they do appreciate you. They look at you as an emperor or an empress. They hold on to you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. And that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Look, they look at you as the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody that likes to work with you. These are three people working together. That's what the Three of Pentacles is. Teamwork. Collaboration. Look. Nine of Cups. They look at you as their Nine of Cups. It's something about you, Capricorn, male or female. You got like this very like strong energy for this person. Like you very, you, because that King of Cups and that Emperor. Yeah, very strong energy here. And the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. Tell you more about this Emperor. the sun you're this person's happiness you're your child's happiness to those two kids right here there's two you know young toddlers holding on to the sun yeah you're the happiness to your kids and your your person but i feel like sometimes you may be uncertain about what's gonna happen i think that's where that moon comes in at you may be uncertain about what's gonna happen with you and your family or the person that you're with I think you may overthink a lot. Tell us about this Queen of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, love here. Your cups. 
Yeah. Three of Pentacles, like I said, Nine of Cups. So even when, like, there's words being... This person can sometimes be cold. Or sometimes you may be a little cold. This could both be energies of, you know, like, kind of like... Not putting up with your shit type of energy. But you guys still somehow got this nine of cups this three of cup this three of pentacles i feel like some, i saw the king of swords too you know that's crazy right and that king of swords is speaking to me before i shuffled it was at the bottom sometimes you and this person could be the queen and the king of swords the queen and the king of swords their head strong it's mind over matter it's i'm right you're wrong my feelings it's not your feelings i don't care about your feelings you know, sometimes y'all could be a little mean towards each other or say certain things. I feel like this is not your, you, you're not in reverse though. I feel like you got common ground, but I feel like that queen sometimes or that king in reverse sometimes cannot, cause sometimes could be a little bit more like they ain't got common ground with you sometimes, but I feel like you guys still come together. Is that what you worried about? Are you worried that maybe the differences will come the best of this situation with this person. Cause I feel like sometimes like you, you may, you may like have like this mentality cause that's what the King and the queen is. They have this mentality. They have a head over heart at times. Sometimes when they met, they don't think with their heart. They're just, Hmm, whatever stubborn type of energy. But I feel like you, you're, you, you have more of that common ground than this person does. I feel like maybe this person may be a little bit more highly emotional than you. Maybe that's why they came up as this. Um, they want to see you as they two of cups more than you at times. Because you already feel like this person is your two of cups. But sometimes they can get a little. I don't know. I feel like they don't have common ground at times. This person may be a little more hot headed than you. Tell me more about this queen of pentacles. kind of like you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad it's like but it's not bad to the point where y'all cannot be in the same room like y'all can love each other look the knight of swords see yeah tell you more about the knight of swords in reverse Somebody could be kind of impulsive here. Yeah, five of swords. Somebody could be unfair. Yeah, the five of swords is somebody that's unfair. So I feel like, you know, sometimes it's not always good. You know, even when, you you know, you're the queen of pentacles, uh, king of pentacles, you bring in the money or you're trying to get the money or whatever you're trying to do because you are pentacles in tarot. So that's you. I just feel like sometimes um, this person could be a little unfair and they got to work on, on how they act. Tell me why they can be unfair at times. Tell me more about the sun and tell me about this king, queen, and this page. I want to know about this, these three people. Very, very strong energy here tonight with these, uh, with you and these two other people. There, this, this younger energy could also be like a younger family member, a younger brother or a sister. But y'all share a very strong bond. But y'all go through y'all differences with each other. Sometimes y'all don't always want to be bothered with. And it's not you. I feel like that's not you. I feel like sometimes it's them. Um, it's not you that don't want to be bothered. You don't mind being bothered with them because you love them. But sometimes they could be a little difficult. We're going to figure out that. Tell me what's unfair. Five of uh, swords. The three of cups so you know this love that you guys share celebration family friends yeah 
sometimes the relationship between family and friends could be unfair your relationship with them and it could have you um kind of like uh tired and burnt out the nine of wands is the person that's kind of tired and burnt out at times like they don't want to continue to keep fighting they don't want to argue they don't want to go back and forth they don't want to continue to keep worrying about shit they just want to just i'm already done did enough so can you just i don't want to do it no more so i feel like sometimes you fight with your friends and family sometimes and things can be unfair and you just kind of like you right behind these um Juan's like, okay, what's next? I don't want to fight. I'm good. Kind of like, I surrender. Type of energy. Because you don't always want to fight. You play a lot, but you don't want to always fight. Never mind the noise outside. They doing burnouts. <laughs> That's what they do. Tell me more about the sun. Tell me more about the light. Yeah, your ace of cups. These people are people you love. This younger person and this this woman that's here, or this man that's here, that other king or queen of cups. Yeah. See, Capricorn, you about your love and your money. That's your happiness. That's always been your happiness is to, to love and to give money, but not to everybody. But that's that's what you do. You try to balance those things out. Your ace of cups and your ace of pentacles. You try to give that love and you try to give that money too. That's what makes you happy is seeing other people happy. Especially the people that you really care about. Other people, you don't give a damn, but the people you really care about, you you really really do like seeing those people happy capricorn you do and you want to see these two people happy all the time your queen or your king in your in this page here this younger energy tell me more about this queen and this king in this page tell me more about them four of cups so sometimes things could be you know overwhelming it could make the situations boring at times between you and these uh, these people that you deal with because maybe you know it's sometimes things get dull but you are the king of pentacles they may be you know and then when i look at this this four of cups this is somebody that looks like they're withdrawn so sometimes these people can be withdrawn from you Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Sometimes these people can, but like, they can be kind of difficult. They may like try to avoid you. But justice is here for you, Cap. So I feel like with the page and want another page, you got strength here with these people. These people can be a bit much. These two people here that you deal with I'm hearing that maybe somebody a teenage somebody's a teenager and then somebody's a toddler strength page of wands yeah justice you got this here on your side it's always new things with them they could be a little more immature than you on how they handle situations you got your moments, but the way they handle situations is a little bit more. It's, it's not like how you do it. You confront them, but these people sometimes don't. And um, you need a lot of strength dealing with them. But justice is here. Libra energy. Going to balance out the scales. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra child. I did see Scorpio with death. So it's going to be a rebirth. Yeah, that was some strong energy right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get you a kipper. Let's see what's going to happen with this situation. Let's pull four cards for you guys. 
for your um your situation with your um this younger energy and the person that you're dealing with your person your twin flame your soulmate this person right here uh that you're dealing with what uh, you know one thing i'm getting to throughout all the crap that y'all go through this person is not going to give up on you so whatever happens between you and this person i don't feel like this person is is going to give up even if y'all walked away or you thought about walking away for a little bit take a break they're going to still be there waiting for you just don't go too far Yeah, this is your lover. Here go the lovers right here. Kipper, 15. Two people hugging and kissing each other. This is your lover. This is your twin flame, your soulmate. That's your person. Tell us more. You got the coffin came out in reverse. So something is not dead here. Um, if you thought it was dead, if you thought something was dead, it's not dead. change it's gonna be a change coming for you capricorn you and this person and what's that change um despair may come you know um hard times but i don't believe that's gonna be there for long because you know it, it's, it's gonna be some type of change something may happen but i feel like you guys can hold it down let me go ahead and get a cosmic insight. I'm trying to shuffle these. This person definitely only wants you, cares about you a lot. I'm going to pull two cosmic insights. Here go, yeah. Your, here go your energy right here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There you go. Earth sign. Vacation. You will be traveling soon. So maybe you guys may be going on a, uh, a vacation together. Intimacy. Sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Yeah, with that uh, Six of Cups. You guys are very um, sexual. Let's see. All right, we got that out the way. So let's get y'all a time card and see what's going to happen from here. You got Aries. It says, employ pioneering spirit. One week, one month. So, you know, bring out that that spirit that you have, that the type of spirit that you, that you hold, you know. Let's see. The astrology cards. Libra, I balance. Yeah, you balance out everything. You can have Libra in your chart. Um, and then let's go ahead and get you guys angel cards. It says heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. 
It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. If you have a big heart uh, chakra, Capricorn, so you give a lot, you love, make sure you balance it out. Don't give too much, don't give too less. Just give right enough. Right here, it's the next angel card. And it says right here, opportunity. There's a lot of opportunity coming your way. Learn how to balance it out. And then we're going to go ahead and get you a spiritual um, Bible scripture card. And we're going to go ahead and end this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And give us something, angels and ancestors. Okay, thank you so much. Heavenly Father, with God, all things are possible. So here it is. With the man above, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Anything is possible if you believe in the most high. I like this reading. It was really sweet. It seems like you really do love these people. They need to learn how to love you a little bit better, though, too. So, Until next time, Capricorn, I love y'all. If you guys would like a personal reading, like I said, it would be in the description on my channel. It's just a reading at gmail.com. Exactly how the title is. It's just a reading at gmail.com. All right. Bye, guys.